When I first saw Mona Hatoum's Exodus II, I was immediately reminded of undying lovers ensconced in poetry. John Donne writes of a bracelet of bright hair about the bone that allows lovers to meet at this grave and make a little stay. Sir Walter Scott, too, addresses a lock of hair and calls it a relic of a well-remembered night when first my Agnes whispered love. Not only does hair betoken the lover's body in Europe, but newlyweds in China are also referred to as jiefa fuqi, meaning that their hair is knotted like their hearts are entwined. However, in Exodus 2, the embracing hair emerges from suitcases that suggest departure. The hair breaking through leather evinces the irreducibility of people to the bricolage that they carry. Relations and memories remain imperishable and overflow from suitcases when people undergo migration. Hatoum, a British Palestinian born in Lebanon, references Moses' deliverance of Israelites from Egypt in the title of her work and evokes the universality of the experience of dislocation and enduring nostalgia. <laughs> 